gentlemen, ladies and fellers, on this beautiful but gorgeous, cloudy, miserable day. It's a beautiful day out here. Hello, driver, we have friends. Look, he's coming to join us to say good morning with us. Morning, that guy's got a beard. 10 points for your beard, buddy. Wow, impressive. The day is gonna be good now. If the first thing you see when you wake up is a magnificent beard, it's gonna be a good day. Especially if it's on your own face. Just saying. All right guys, so we are in Marathon, Ontario. We're gonna be headed all the way home today. We gotta to drop the trailer that we have behind us in Winnipeg, Manitoba, which is very close to home. Then we're going to uh, bobtail back to our yard where my pickup is, and we're gonna take my pickup home because I need my pickup to pick up my quad tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. I hope they got it done. They haven't called me. I just told them I was gonna be there on Monday to pick it up. They said it would be done yesterday, or on Friday. I hope it's gonna be done. Either way, I'm getting that decal put on the back of my window tomorrow, so that'll be cool. All right, guys, let's hit the road. Just coming up to Nipigon, Ontario here. Looks like they're still working on this bridge. It's gonna be a pretty big one. What's wrong with this bridge? Why are they building a new one? You know, so often I see that. You know, they're building these huge, magnificent bridges right beside other bridges that are perfectly use usable. I see that a lot. Wow, isn't that kind of a waste of tax money? Just saying. You got a bridge that works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Whatever. I'm not in control of the spending in Ontario. I didn't vote for them and neither would I. And again, Manitoba is not any better. Just going around Thunder Bay, Ontario. Which means we have about seven hours to Winnipeg. Should get there at a decent time. I'm hoping to be actually at my house before midnight. So seven hours to Winnipeg, gotta drop the trailer there unhook, bobtail it without a trailer, to the yard, which is about another hour away, 45 minutes, uh, middle of the night, probably 45 minutes. Unload all of my laundry and everything else into my pickup, because I gotta wash everything in here. It, uh, it's definitely laundry time in here, if you know what I mean. I definitely gotta clean everything. So I've gotta take everything out of my truck, and, uh, Sorry, this traffic light here is, wasn't here last time. Good thing they had signs warning us. On the downhill yet. Oh, the heavy load trying to come to a complete stop on the downhill. I want a boat. I really want a boat. That'd be so much fun. So anyway, 45 minutes to the yard, right? Unload all my stuff into the pickup. From, from there, it's an hour or so drive home in my pickup. And then we gotta unwind once we get home yet, because you can't just go home and Go straight to bed. I haven't been home in a while. You gotta watch some TV, some YouTube, some Netflix. I don't know, maybe make a steak. Stuff like that, you know. And then once I finally do get to bed, probably around like four in the morning when the sun comes up, I'll get a couple of hours sleep and then I have to have my pickup truck in Steinbeck by one o'clock to get that decal put on the back window. same time I'm gonna go pick up my quad next door and pretty much just rip around the area in my quad while my decals getting put on my window that's the plan looking forward to it yes another traffic light what no hunt do's and diesels mm, slow me down here oh and I get another red light why not yeah that's a Lucky you, Mr. Boat. Oh well, oh well. We're in a good mood because we're going home. Right, Diesel? Right, Sergeant? You guys ready to go home? You can run around in the yard. Oh yeah, right, as soon as we get home, you guys can run around as much as you want. So you can't run anymore, then I'll carry you inside. Actually, you know what? I'm not carrying you anywhere. You can walk yourself inside. I'm very curious if that's legal. So I've seen that a couple times before where they strap a bunch of stuff to the back of the truck. Obviously it's legal, I mean they're doing it, but... A little bit 
sketchy if you ask me. A little bit sketchy, just saying. From the guy though, he waved at me. I gave him the head nod back. Is that acceptable? Or was I supposed to wave? I didn't wave, but I gave him the head nod. That's like a bro nod. That's, an, that's like, hey bro, you know, nodding your head. Now I'm wondering if I should have waved. This pickup better not slow me down. He was doing 80 kilometers an hour before until we got to this passing lane. Suddenly he can do 110. Just watch. He's going to pull in front of me now. He's going to slow down. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? $10. There. $10. $10. $20. I hear $20. Do I hear $25? $25. And he's slowing down. And he's slowing down, and I'm on the brakes. Why do people do that? So frustrating! If you want to go slow, that's perfectly fine with me. Better safe than sorry. But then don't make it difficult for me to get past you. I want to do the speed limit. Have a nice day. We got a little bit of a detour going on here. What are they doing? They're obviously fixing a bridge over there to the right. That's the main road. They built this whole extra road through the bush, through the bush, through the bush, through the bush here just for the detour. Wow. Well, it's like a rest area. There's like washrooms in there. I never even knew this. Look at his go. Hazel. Look at this bush here, man. Keep your eyes out for squirrels, okay guys? Sergeant, you know what squirrels are yet? Probably never seen one yet. Very nice. Fascinating. I wonder how much money it costs to build this extra little ramp in here just for the detour. We'll see off to the right here what they're doing. That is quite the detour. Oh, they're fixing a culvert. Really? All of this mess just to fix a culvert? Wow. Well, at least they're not holding back any money for it. Wow. Thank you, Manitoba, for 
building four lane divided highways. Oh, it's been two days through Northern Ontario and I'm ready to give her. Speed limit is faster, roads are wider, land is flatter, life is better. Manitoba, where are you going driver? Scales closed buddy, I'm not going in there, you kidding me? Scales closed. Look at that weather system ahead of us there, eh? I hope that's on the other side of Winnipeg. I'm about 15 minutes from the perimeter of Winnipeg in Manitoba. As you can tell, it's got beautiful flat prairies here. Feels like home again. And I hope that storm stays away, but usually the weather out here comes from the west so that is most likely headed towards us but you can see sunlight behind it so it'll probably be a quick storm and then the sun will come out again we'll see half hour from our destination i should be home before midnight Whew, well we made it we're in the truck Smells like dirty laundry in here. And dogs. Sorry, that'd be me. Sorry. I smell like a dog. Time to go home and shower. Oh, Chevy. Oh, I missed you. I miss you. I need to clean you. Ooh, I need to pull you out dusty. I'm so sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, I missed you. Time to take you to the detailer, eh? Yeah, all right guys, let's go home. Well boys, well boys, oh dear, here we go, here we go. Sergeant, such a troublemaker, such a troublemaker, man. Oh, you get him, you get him, don't run away, Diesel. Boys will be boys. He keeps biting me, man, he's telling me stop. Sergeant, stop. Stop biting your brother. Thanks, man. No problem, Diesel. I got your back. I got your back, man. Sergeant, no more biting. Sergeant, I'll bite you. Mm. Look how big he is already. Jaw's nuts. What are you doing over there all by yourself, Sarge? What are you doing? I'm wondering. What are you doing? Oh, there you are. You weren't peeing on the floor, were you? I don't think he won't pee on the floor very much anymore. I think he's gotten over that stage. We'll see what happens. Hey, buddy. Look at him. Watch, he's coming back. He's coming back. There he is. <laughs> hey, Sarge. He's biting me again, man. Diesel, Diesel. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Keep me safe, man. Keep me safe. And this guy keeps biting me. Sergeant. Sergeant. Hey, psst, psst, hey, psst, psst, enough. You are the instigator. Stop chasing him. Sit, sit. Four lay down, both work. Good boy, thank you. That means you too, sit. Four lay down, whatever, same thing. Good boy, good boy, and good boy. You guys gotta get along, all right? I will have no fighting in this house. No fighting, we do not fight with family. All right, that's the rule of the house. We do not fight with family. Wait for it, you hear it? You hear it? Wait, wait, wait. Shh! Quiet in the house, quiet! There it is, doors are locked. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. It's gonna be an exciting day.